Madain Sala Arabic Mdain Sal Madin Sala Cities of Sala also called Al Hijr or Hegra is an archaeological site located in the sector of al ula within al madina region the Hejaz Saudi Arabia A majority of the remains date from the Nabataean kingdom 1st century CE The site constitutes the kingdom's southernmost and largest settlement after Petra its capital Traces of Leonite and Roman occupation before and after the Nabataean rule, respectively, can also be found. The Quran places the settlement of the area by the Thamudi people during the days of Salah, between those of Na Noah and Hud on one hand, and those of Ibrahim Abraham and Musa Moses on the other. According to the Islamic text, the Thamudis were punished by Allah for their practice of idol worship, being struck by an earthquake and lightning blasts. Thus, the site has earned a reputation as a cursed place an image which the national government is attempting to overcome as it seeks to develop Madain Sala for its potential for tourism. In 2008 UNESCO proclaimed Madain Sala as a site of patrimony, becoming Saudi Arabia's first World Heritage Site. It was chosen for its well-preserved remains from late antiquity, especially the 131 rock-cut monumental tombs, with their elaborately ornamented facades, of the Nabataean Kingdom. Name Its long history and the multitude of cultures occupying the site have produced several names. References by Strabo and other Mediterranean writers use the name Hegra for the Nabataean site. The current name refers to the Islamic Nabi Arabic, na by Prophet Salah. The name Al-Hijr Arabic, al the Stoneland, or the Rocky Place has also been used to allude to its topography. Topic. Location The archaeological site of Madain Sala is situated 20 km miles north of the town of al ula 400 km miles northwest of Medina, and 500 km miles southeast of Petra, Jordan. Al Istakri wrote in Al Masalik. Al Hijr is a small village. It belongs to Wadi Al Gura and is located at one day's travel inside the mountains. It was the homeland of the Thamudians. I have seen those mountains and their carvings. Their houses are similar to ours but are carved in the mountains, which are called the Idlib Mountains. It looks as if they are a continuous range but they are separated and have sand dunes around them. You can reach the top of the mountains, but this is extremely tiring. The well of the Thamudians which is mentioned in the Holy Quran is located in the middle of the mountains." The site is on a plain, at the foot of a basalt plateau, which forms a portion of the Hiyas Mountains. The western and northwestern portions of the site contain a water table that can be reached at a depth of 20 meters the setting is notable for its desert landscape, marked by sandstone outcrops of various sizes and heights. History In the Quran According to Islamic tradition, by the 3rd millennium BCE, the site of Al-Hijr had already been settled by the tribe of Thamud, who carved the structures into rock. The tribe fell to idol worship, and oppression became prevalent. Salah, to whom the site's name of Madain Salah is often attributed, called the Thamudis to repent. The Thamudis disregarded the warning and instead commanded Salah to summon a pregnant she camel from the back of a mountain. And so, a pregnant she camel was sent to the people from the back of the mountain, as proof of Salah's divine mission. However, only a minority heeded his words. The non-believers killed the sacred camel instead of caring for it as they were told, and its calf ran back to the mountain where it had come from, screaming. The Thamudis were given three days before their punishment was to take place, since they disbelieved and did not heed the warning. Salah and his monotheistic followers left the city, but the others were punished by God, their souls leaving their lifeless bodies in the midst of an earthquake and lightning blasts. Topic. Lian era. 
Archaeological traces of cave art on the sandstones and epigraphic inscriptions, considered by experts to be Leonite script, on top of the Athleb mountain, near Madain Sala, have been dated to the 3rd–2nd century BCE, indicating the early human settlement of the area, which has an accessible source of freshwater and fertile soil. The settlement of the Leans became a center of commerce, with goods from the east, north and south converging in the locality. Nabataean era The extensive settlement of the site took place during the 1st century CE, when it came under the rule of the Nabataean king Aretas IV Philopatris al IV 9 BCE to 40 CE, who made Madain Sala the kingdom's second capital, after Petra in the north. The place enjoyed a huge urbanization movement, turning it into a city. Characteristic of Nabataean rock-cut architecture, the geology of Madain Sala provided the perfect medium for the carving of monumental and settlements, with Nabataean scripts inscribed on their facades. The Nabataeans also developed oasis agriculture—digging wells and rainwater tanks in the rock and carving places of worship in the sandstone outcrops. Similar structures were featured in other Nabataean settlements, ranging from southern Syria region to the north, going south to the Negev, and down to the immediate area of the Hejaz. The most prominent and the largest of these is Petra. At the crossroad of commerce, the Nabataean kingdom flourished, holding a monopoly for the trade of incense, myrrh, and spices. Situated on the overland caravan route and connected to the Red Sea port of Egra Kome, Madain Sala, then referred to as Hegra among the Nabataeans, reached its peak as the major staging post on the main north-south trade route. <laughs> Roman era In 106 CE, the Nabataean kingdom was annexed by the contemporary Roman Empire. The Hejaz, which encompasses Hegra, became part of the Roman province of Arabia. The Hejaz region was integrated into the Roman province of Arabia in 106 AD. A monumental Roman epigraph of 175–177 AD was recently discovered at Al-Hijr then called Hegra, and now Madain Sala. The trading itinerary shifted from the overland north-south axis on the Arabian Peninsula to the maritime route through the Red Sea. Thus, Hegra as a center of trade began to decline, leading to its abandonment. Supported by the lack of later developments based on archaeological studies, experts have hypothesized that the site had lost all of its urban functions beginning in the late antiquity mainly due to the process of desertification. Recently evidence has been discovered that the Roman legions of Trajan occupied Madain Sala in northeastern Arabia, increasing the extension of the Arabia Petraea province of the Romans in Arabia. The history of Hegra, from the decline of the Roman Empire until the emergence of Islam, remains unknown. It was only sporadically mentioned by travelers and pilgrims making their way to Mecca in the succeeding centuries. Hegra served as a station along the Hajj route, providing supplies and water for pilgrims. Among the accounts is a description made by 14th century traveller Ibn Battuta, noting the red stone cut tombs of Hegra, by then known as Al Hijr. However, he made no mention of human activities there. <laughs> Ottoman era The Ottoman Empire annexed Western Arabia from the Mamluks by 1517. In early Ottoman accounts of the Hajj road between Damascus and Mecca, Madain Sala is not mentioned, until 1672, when the Turkish traveller, Evliya Celebi noted that the caravan passed through a place called Abir Sala, where there were the remains of seven cities. It is again mentioned by the traveller Murtada ibn Alawan as a rest stop on the route called al Madain. Between 1744 and 1757, a fort was built at Al-Hijr on the orders of the Ottoman governor of Damascus, Asad Pasha Al-Azm. A cistern supplied by a large well within the fort was also built, and the site served as a one-day stop for Hajj pilgrims where they could purchase goods such as dates, lemons and oranges. It was part of a series of fortifications built to protect the pilgrimage route to Mecca. According to the researches of Al Ansari, the Ottoman castle was found near the settlement dating to the year 1600 AD in 1984. 19th century 
Following the discovery of Petra by the Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt in 1812, Charles Montague Doughty, an English traveller, heard of a similar site near Madain Sala, a fortified Ottoman town on the Hajj road from Damascus. In order to access the site, Doughty joined the Hajj caravan, and reached the site of the ruins in 1876, recording the visit in his journal which was published as Travels in Arabia Deserta. Doughty described the Ottoman fort, where he resided for two months, and noted that Bedouin tribesmen had a permanent encampment just outside of the building. In the 19th century, there were accounts that the extant wells and oasis agriculture of Al Hijr were being periodically used by settlers from the nearby village of Tama. This continued until the 20th century, when the Hejaz railway that passed through the site was constructed 1901 on the orders of Ottoman Sultan Abdul Hamid II to link Damascus and Jerusalem in the northwest with Medina and Mecca, hence facilitating the pilgrimage journey to the latter and to politically and economically consolidate the Ottoman administration of the centers of Islamic faith. A station was built north of Al Hijr for the maintenance of locomotives, and offices and dormitories for railroad staff. The railway provided greater accessibility to the site. However, this was destroyed in a local revolt during World War I. Despite this, several archaeological investigations continued to be conducted in the site beginning in the World War I period to the establishment of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the 1930s up to the 1960s. The railway station has also been restored and now includes 16 buildings and several pieces of rolling stock. By the end of the 1960s, the Saudi Arabian government devised a program to introduce a sedentary lifestyle to the nomadic Bedouin tribes inhabiting the area. It was proposed that they settle down on Al Hijr, reusing the already existent wells and agricultural features of the site. However, the official identification of Al Hijr as an archaeological site in 1972 led to the resettlement of the Bedouin towards the north, beyond the site boundary. This also included the development of new agricultural land and freshly dug wells, thereby preserving the state of Al Hijr. <laughs> Current development In 1962 examples of many inscriptions were found considered archaeology of Madain Sala by Wynette and Reed. Although the Al Hijr site was proclaimed as an archaeological treasure in the early 1970s, few investigations had been conducted since. Murdid had lived here for a short time and wrote notices about region since 1977. Healy studied here in 1985 and wrote book about encryptions of Madain Sala in 1993. The prohibition on the veneration of objects, artifacts has only resulted in minimal low-key archaeological activities. These conservative measures have started to ease up beginning in 2000, when Saudi Arabia invited expeditions to carry out archaeological explorations, as part of the government's push to promote cultural heritage protection and tourism. The archaeological site was proclaimed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2008. Architecture The Nabataean site of Hegra was built around a residential zone and its oasis during the 1st century CE. The sandstone outcrops were carved out to build the necropolis. A total of four necropolis areas have survived, which featured 131 monumental rock-cut tombs spread out over 13.4 kilometers (8.3 miles), many with inscribed Nabataean epigraphs on their facades. Non-monumental burial sites, totaling 2,000, are also part of the place. A closer observation of the facades indicates the social status of the buried person—the size and ornamentation of the structure reflect the wealth of the person. Some facades had plates on top of the entrances providing information about the grave owners, the religious system, and the masons who carved them. Many graves indicate military ranks, leading archaeologists to speculate that the site might have once been a Nabataean military base, meant to protect the settlement's trading activities. The Nabataean kingdom was not just situated at the crossroad of trade but also of culture. This is reflected in the varying motifs of the facade decorations, borrowing stylistic elements from Assyria, Phoenicia, Egypt, and Hellenistic Alexandria, combined with the native artistic style. Roman decorations and Latin scripts also figured on the troglodytic tombs when the territory was annexed by the Roman Empire. In contrast to the elaborate exteriors, the interiors of the rock-cut structures are severe and plain. A religious area, known as Jabal Idlib, is located to the northeast of the site. 
It is believed to have been originally dedicated to the Nabataean deity Dushara. A narrow corridor, 40 meters (131 feet) long between the high rocks and reminiscent of the SIQ in Petra, leads to the Hall of the Dewan, a Muslim's council chamber or law court. Small religious sanctuaries bearing inscriptions were also cut into the rock in the vicinity. The residential area is located on the middle of the plain, far from the outcrops. The primary material of construction for the houses and the enclosing wall was sun-dried mud brick. Few vestiges of the residential area remain. Water is supplied by 130 wells, situated in the western and northwestern part of the site, where the water table was at a depth of only 20 meters .6 feet. The wells, with diameters ranging 4 to 7 meters .1 to feet, were cut into the rock, although some, dug in loose ground, had to be reinforced with sandstone. Importance Al-Hijr archaeological site lies in an arid environment. The dry climate, the lack of resettlement after the site was abandoned, and the prevailing local beliefs about the locality have all led to the extraordinary state of preservation of Al-Hijr, providing an extensive picture of the Nabataean lifestyle. Thought to mark the southern extent of the Nabataean kingdom, al Hajunir's oasis agriculture and extant wells exhibit the necessary adaptations made by the Nabataeans in the given environment. Its markedly distinct settlement is the second largest among the Nabataean kingdom, complementing that of the more famous Petra archaeological site in Jordan. The location of the site at the crossroads of trade, as well as the various languages, scripts and artistic styles reflected in the facades of its monumental tombs further set it apart from other archaeological sites. It has duly earned the nickname the capital of monuments among Saudi Arabia's 4,000 archaeological sites. Topic see also Aram of the Pillars Luke Kome Leon Nabatines Roman Arabia List of Colossal Sculpture in Situ Ancient Towns in Saudi Arabia Topic Footnotes Topic Further reading Abdul Rahman Ansari, Hussein Abu al-Hassan The Civilization of Two Cities, Al-Ula and Mad in Salah. Riyadh, Dar al-Kawafal. ISBN 9960-9301-0-6. ISBN 978-9960-9301-0-7 Muhammad Babeli Madain Saleh. Riyadh, Desert Publisher. ISBN 978-603-00-2777-4, I, 2003, 2, 2005, 3, 2006, IV, 2009 External links World Heritage Listing Submission Photo Gallery at Nabataya.net Personal Website on Hegra Madain Sala Picture, Text, Map, Video and Sound at Hegra. FR Photos from Mauritian photographer Zubair Kariman Historical Wonder by Muhammad Nofal Saudi Arabia's Hidden City from France 24 Madain Salah, Saudi Arabia's Cursed City Topic. Videos The Road to Madain Salah Round in Madain Salah, Part 1 Part 2 Part 3 Part 4